Hello everyone, my name is Usman and I'm the founder at Repairs. If you run a computer repair shop, there may be a chance you're using 10 different tools that don't talk to each other. With Repairs, you get an all-in-one system that helps you with dictating, invoicing, payments, marketing, and so much more. Let me give you a quick demo. So let's assume a customer comes in and you're working on a repair. You, if you have a tablet, you can hand over the tablet and ask the customer to fill in their details with a click of a button. Here's how, how you do it. You'll click on self check in and then customer can fill in their details and that's how the, you, you can capture the information. So you don't have to enter it yourself. So, or if a customer is already available in your database, you can search a customer by its name, email address, phone number. So my name is already over there. So now to check in a customer, all you have to do is to press few tabs. You click on computer repair, if it's desktop, um, either you can add all the devices or you can add a generic model as well. Now, if you're doing SSD hard drive replacement, you can select SSD hard drive replacement from here. If you're using any part, you will select it from here or just click on next step. Now, this is very useful for you. You can customize this page according to your requirement. You can enter IMEI serial number of the device. Now, if it's a, uh, if it's a, there's a password, you can also add password. You can also assign this ticket to someone in your store. You can also do a device pre-repair checklist as well, which our customer love. Against each repair category, you can build your own checklist. So whatever is working, you can mark it as green. Now you can even customize this page. If you, to customize this page, click on manage customer fields. And if you want to add a new field, click over here. Or if you want to disable a field, just click over here and click save changes, which will uh, update this page. Now, once you have added all the details, click confirm, which will add it to a shopping basket. Now to create a ticket, all you have to do is to click on create ticket. If you're using a front facing display, it will start displaying order information over here. So customer can review it. And then when you click create ticket, it will ask the customer to enter their signatures. But so once they have read the store terms and conditions, they can, and repair as will automatically print out a receipt and a label if you're using our recommended hardware. The label looks so nice that you want to stick it to your own phone. We, for label printing, we recommend Brother QL810W because it has been tested. The label has all the information your technician needs. If you'd like, you can also print out a service receipt and hand it over to a customer. Or if you would like to print out a thermal receipt, you can also do that as well. So once the, once the device has been repaired and you want to create an invoice, all you have to do is to um, enter the ticket number over here, which will pull, pull up the device information and you will click on checkout. And if the payment is taken $100, $100 in cash, and then rest in credit card, you can also split the transaction. And once you're done, click on confirm. And that's how you will complete a transaction. That's not all. You can also send follow-up emails to your customers. By going to campaigner, you can create custom campaigns where repairs will automatically send them an email or SMS that you came in for a repair and to see how happy they are. Or you can also insert link to your Facebook or Google page to to request customers for reviews because in service business, reviews are everything. There's an inventory module as well. So you can keep track of which items are low on stock or not. Uh, if you sell a lot of computers uh, or mobiles with serial numbers, you can serialize the inventory as well. So there are different inventory valuation methods like 
uh, weighted average scores, first in, first out. And if you have, mo if you need more information, you can reach out to our team on that. There's a, a built-in reporting module as well. And if you're running multiple outlets, you can see at any time of the day how your stores are performing. You can view all the invoices created for any given day from this tab. If you want to view tickets, you'll go to repair ticket. When, whenever an employee walk into your store, what they should do, they should click on clock in, clock out. So enter their pin to register that they have. And at any given time, a manager can go to timesheet to see how much hours his, his employees have worked. To view the detailed report for your employee, click on payroll payment report which shows everything, their commission, the hourly rate and everything. Our customers love this report. We also have an option for start and end shift. So whenever you open the store, you can start a shift with the floating balance. And when you will end the shift, it will it it shows you how much cash or credit card you ha credit card balance you should have. You can balance and do the all the reconciliation work and add the notes and end the shift as well by entering your pin. Once the shift is closed, you can print out a receipt uh, a report and put it inside an envelope as well. For, for your manager. You can print out a receipt either on a thermal receipt paper, or you can also print out a receipt on A4 paper as well. There are tons of integration which you can use mobile centric integration, which is my favorite one. So with mobile centric integration, what you can do is you can import all of their uh, SKUs with their with their prices and with their product images. So you don't have to manually enter any of the SKU. Uh, you can or you can even select selected SKUs as well. If you want to import the SKUs, once you have authenticated, you can select which SKUs you want to import. And it will send a request on their server in a runtime to see what are the items and devices available. So let's say if I just want to import SKUs for Galaxy Note 5 and Ace 1, I click on import products, and then it will run this import process in background, so you don't have to wait. And at any time, you can click on import history to view the history of the import as well. So that's not all with mobile centric integration. You can also view your loss stock report to see which items are loan stock. So I can select any of the item and add it to a purchase order. And with a single click, this item will be pushed to a purchase order. So I can see mobile centrics available stock and their cost over here. 
So I can select if I want to add 10 of these items. So rather, so the benefit of this integration is I don't have to use two systems. I'm using repair S and it will push uh, all of my purchases to mobile centrics and I can complete the order over there. We, we have tons of integration which will help you save time so you can focus on primarily growing your business. Another useful integration is with Square. So if you're using Square, you get not only that you get better rates, uh, but you, the transaction uh, takes uh, place just in two seconds. With we also have payments with uh, payment integration. If you're in UK for payment sense, for Australia, Tyro, for US, TCS. If you're using zero for accounting, you can also push your invoices from repair S to zero without doing anything. Now, another indication with if you run a computer repair shop and you do a lot of micro soldering work, you can attach repair tracker to your website where customers can track their repair status right from your website. So to attach this integration, all you have to do is to enter this iframe code on any page of your website where customer will enter the ticket ID or last name to view the status of the ticket. There's appointment calendar option as well, so customers can book appointments from your website. There's an option for to send SMS to your customers by purchasing SMS credits from third-party website. If you use Slack for communication, which is a great tool, you can also push notification from repairs to Slack, MailChimp for email marketing. If you use WooCommerce, you can sync your inventory with the, uh, of your online store with repairs, uh, so that whenever an order is placed on your website, it updates your inventory and creates a duplicate invoice on repair desk. There's an uh, amazing tool for internal knowledge base, uh, which is internal wiki. So uh, you can create store opening and closing procedures or SOPs over there uh, for unknown events. So, so that you don't have to use Google document or Word document. Uh, employees can see right away um, all the knowledge they need to run a repair store within repair desk. There's another important module is customer portal. If you do a lot of uh, work with, uh, if you're a repair depot and do a lot of insurance repair work, you can use customer portal module. So uh, where you will create a login for each of your customer. So they can track how much tickets or invoices they have with you. So they can go over here to see a status of a ticket or they can create a new ticket from here or so let's say if i have a customer so for jeff i i can create a using main password or just share him a link so that at any given time, if he's sending me devices for repair, he can view the status of them. Or if you want to send a new device, he can click on create ticket to see how much I charge for any particular repair. So if he wants to send me um, a desktop PC, he, he can fill in the details and create a ticket. Not only that, he can also view invoices and pay for them through PayPal. You can create also employee, you can also give your employees tiered access where you can create roles and against each role you can decide what sort of access they have. You don't want to show your employees how much money you're making or or display part scores. So you can uh, choose what sort of access you want to give to your employees. They should not be able to give discount or change any price or add new items, so you can customize it. If you are in Australia, US, Canada, UK, you can use Repairdesk to fulfill your 
tax requirements as well. If you are in US, you can create a sales tax class for ten percent or whatever. Or if it's in if you're in Australia or UK, you can create a tax class uh, with prices inclusive in in in, in the price. And best of all, prepared as doesn't cost a lot. We if you if you just if you're just a startup, we we charge thirty five dollars. Or if you if you are an established business, we we charge seventy dollars. We we got a knowledge base with with two hundred articles. We have a we we have a lot of videos on how to use the software. There's a built in live chat available within the software. Which you, where you can uh, where you can talk to our support team, and if you and we provide training on how to use the software as well. So if you have any questions about the software, feel free to reach out to us at hello at paydesk.co, and we'll be, and we'll be more than happy to answer your query. Thank you, and we'll look forward to working with you.